But after this moment on Mount Transfiguration, Peter, remember he said, hey man, it's good up here. I like it up here, Jesus. Let's just stay up here. But they had to come down from the mountain. Now we all need mountaintop experiences with the Lord. We all need those because it's in those moments where God has a chance to change us. But how many know that while we're here on this earth, we can't live in those mountaintop experiences? That we have to deal with the reality of our lives. So when they came down from the mountain, there was a problem listed in the problems. First of all, there were people. Now, how many know wherever there's people, there is, yeah, there's problems. Not only was there a crowd, but there was conflict. The two kind of go hand in hand, don't they? And then as if dealing with the crowd and dealing with drama weren't enough, then you see the work of the enemy. And here's this young boy that had been possessed by this spirit. Not only would he, could he not speak, but it was he would give him seizures, he would foam at the mouth, he would violently convulse, caused him to want to harm himself, throw himself into the fire, throw himself into the water. Man, I couldn't help but to think, wow, man, you see, you know, people that want to harm themselves, want to cut themselves, want to kill themselves. And man, that's the work of the devil. Somebody help me now. They're having to deal with problems. You have the problem, but then you have the real problem. Oh, unbelieving generation. How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? How long do I have to put up with you? I mean, I mean that's just like, but how many know Jesus wasn't always encouraging? There's sometimes Jesus rebuked and corrected and was stern. And this is one of those moments. The real problem wasn't the crowd. The real problem wasn't the conflict. The real problem wasn't even the devil. The real problem was something that we studied back in Mark chapter six, when Jesus said he was surprised at their lack of faith. Do you remember that? Remember he threw all the people out of the room so he could heal the girl? He was surprised at their lack of faith. And if you remember, the Greek word was apostia. Apistia. Apostia, which is not only a lack of faith or unbelief, but it's disobedience. So it's not so much an issue of the mind. It's not so much an intellectual issue. It's an issue of the heart and it is a spiritual issue. There is not a problem in this world, family. There's not a problem with people. There's not a problem with conflict and there's not even a problem with the devil that we cannot overcome if we will keep our hearts from apostia. That's where the battle is. The battle is with our heart. The battle is with giving ourselves fully to Christ. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us remember that as we face our struggles, we can't live on the mountaintop. We gotta come down and face our struggles. Our real problem is not with people. Our real problem is not with conflict, but the real conflict is with our own heart.